guys welcome back to another video in today's video I am going to show you how you can um, save on material by adding more cutouts or stickers or whatever that you're doing onto a eight and a half by eleven page which is the letter size page without um, with a little hack so let's get into it so what I'm gonna do is upload a couple of Im images right now um, I'm going to view all and I think I want to do Mario and Peaches. Okay, so I added both of them to my canvas. Now what I'm going to do is resize them. I'm going to make sure this is locked so it doesn't look crazy. And I'm going to do each of them two and a half inches tall. Okay, right now I have my canvas on 75. I just changed it back to 100. So it was looking kind of small. So here I go. So let's say I wanted to make some stickers with this, with the eight and a half by 11 paper. So I'm gonna go to make it, right? So now when I come to make it, it is right here. I only have two. You don't have to go and duplicate it on the canvas, guys. If you just wanna simply add a lot of, a lot more on your sheet of paper, all you have to do is go up here and select the amount of times that you want to times that by. So if I times it by five, I'll have 10. If I times it by six, I'll have 12. If I times it by seven, I'll have 14. Okay, so with that being said, four, eight, let me see, 14, yes, yes. I thought, I, I thought my math was off. So now it went on to the second page, right? So right here, you can move both objects. You don't have to do one at a time and bring it on to this canvas. And then what you're able to do now is move whatever that you want to move and make sure it fits. So right then and there, you're using one sheet of paper and you have 14 stickers, right? But I'm going to show you how you can get more stickers on this sheet of paper with the same size cutouts. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to cancel and go back. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a shape. Let me get the square and I'm going to make it as big as possible. Right now, I'm going to change this operation to print and cut. Right now, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to change, auto resize it based on the eight and a half by 11 paper, which is letter size. We're gonna auto resize it. Now I'm going to change the color. I'm gonna do a light gray. Then I'm gonna make sure that this can go on top. Um, I'm gonna to send it to the front. Now it's to the front, right? So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this a couple of times. I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times. I'm going to show you something. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, I did not know this, Lenny. So now I'm going to put these, I'm going to arrange them inside of my square. And I'm trying to get as many as possible in here. And I'm going to show you how you can save on material because you will be able to get more than the 14 that I did previously with the same size, with the same size um, cutouts, okay? Images. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this again. So what are we up to now? We are only up to 10. up to 10 right so 10 so remember we got 14 on the other one so we may be able to get two more we may be able to get two oh, maybe two more maybe two or three more let's see so we're gonna get I think we probably only gonna get 
another one. Let's see if we can get another one in there. Maybe we would get. Maybe able to get another one right here. Yep. We got five, ten, and we got thirteen. So you probably like, well, Lenny, this didn't work. You got less. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna show you why this makes sense, okay? Why it's gonna work. So now I'm gonna remove oh that's not what I wanted to do. So now I am going to remove this. So what you want to make sure is none of the images are outside of this box, right? So I'm gonna delete the box and I'm gonna select and then I am going to attach. Not everything is attached, okay? Everything is attached, guys. Everything is attached. So now it's in one piece. What I'm gonna do, well, duplicate this. I'm gonna do more. I may not be able to do, so remember this is 13, and I duplicated some more. So I'm gonna go to make it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, let's see what. Okay, so you see how I was able to do um, that amount, 13, and I still have a ton of space down here. So what I'm gonna do is just select all of this, right? I'm gonna select all of it and I'm gonna move it. And then once I move it, it's gonna take a little bit. Once I move it, you see how I have space, guys? I can just do this. So remember I have 13, so this is my 14. We already, one more, this is my 15. This is my 16. This is my 17, right? May not be able to do another one, but that's okay. I was able to get 17 instead of instead of 14 and the reason why I bring in more because I'm never sure exactly how many more I can bring right okay so now I got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, okay? So I'm gonna cancel, guys. That is it for this video. This is my little hack on printing stickers and having more stickers on one sheet of paper or cutouts, because you can use them as cupcake toppers. You can do them at use them for stickers holographic printable vinyl i mean the list goes on and on we know again like i said previously that material is you know on the expensive side so you want to be able to you know maximize maximize the amount of you know material materials that well minimize the um, amount of materials that you want to use and maximize the space right so yeah let me know in the comments if you do this already or if this was helpful um with that being said don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every single time your girl posts a video see you guys in the next video bye